Hi, this is Jody from Highbridge Motorhomes Sunny South Devon branch and today I'll be doing a quick walk around video on this lovely top of the range 2011 Rapido 7095 DF DF for double floor. This was Rapido's top of the range low profile uh, model. This one has a transverse rear island bed which was one of the very first to appear on the market in 2011. It's quite a desirable feature and she's priced at $29.95 and we'll see the reason why she's $29.95 now when we have a look at the windows sheet for the vital statistics. So she is a rapid old 7095 DF, so that's Alco chassis, full length double floor for storage, handling and insulation. We've got four berth, four seat belts. She's plated at three and a half tonne, so anybody can drive her on a normal car license. We can up plate her if you want cheaper road tax and a bigger payload. It's based on the Fiat Cato chassis with a 2.3 turbo diesel engine, six speed manual, this one. She's done 74,000 miles on that, ladies and gentlemen, is why she's 29,095. One of these with 35, 40,000 miles, we could retail at 36 and a 95. So you're saving anywhere from five to six, seven, eight thousand pounds because she's done 74,000 miles, which is nothing whatsoever for the commercial chassis that it's on. We'll supply with a full MOT, full engine service. We'll do the cam belt if it's due as well and make sure she's tip top. But if the mileage doesn't bother you, doesn't bother me, you're saving big cash. Coming to the sizes, she's 7.39 metres long, so a little bit smaller than some island bedders. Standard width 2.35, 2.86 metres high. She's a low line. She's priced, as I say, at 29.995. So the mileage doesn't bother you, it doesn't bother me, then you get in a cheap, capable top of the range van for the price of, a, of an 08 entry level model. So there's a lot to be said for that, in fairness to it. Comes with the Northern Irish private plate on it, and that's an ageless plate. We'll have a little walk around. She's on 15 inch wheels with the Fiat wheel trims. She's got a full length canopy been fitted there. We've got a gas locker at the front there for 211 kilo gas bottles. Centrally locked habitation door with fly screen. Fridge vents which are far apart. That signifies that she's got a big fridge freezer inside. You can see the awning light on top of the door there as well. You've got an extra security lock on this door and all the others as well. This van's been used for some European touring, which is what it was designed for. So it's got plenty of uh, plenty of kit, solar panels on the roof, extra leisure battery, um, big water tanks, extra security features. She's ready for a long European tour if that's what you wanted to do. So coming to the rear corner of the van, we've got the underbed locker. So she's got the transverse low island bed, which is quite a desirable layout. So you can get over either side. Underneath that island bed, you've got this storage locker, and that goes right underneath the double floor of the van. You probably can't quite see it, but that goes right away to the to the other side. So you can put all your chairs and tables and things in there. You've also got a separate shower out here, which is hot and cold for external use. So if you've been to the beach, you can clean yourself off. Coming around to the back of the van, in fact let's just open up this side locker again, we'll see where she's been. To quote the Johnny Cash song, if you're familiar of it, I've been everywhere. Well this van has been all over the place, it's been a city of Etica in Italy, it's been to the Arctic Circle, it's been to the desert. So she's been used, she's been very regularly serviced, well looked after. So Alco chassis for a stable ride. We can clean these graphics off if you want. It's had a little painting done. There's a guy in the desert in Morocco who does those for campers if they wish. I've had a few vans with them. Nobel is his name, he signed it. Coming around the near side. We've got another storage locker there. Also, we've got some further storage to the front. That goes right the way under the floor, this long locker there. So you've got masses of storage, all your water tanks and things like that are, are between the floors which are heated so you're going to find it's a very very cosy warm van. And that's the outside. So I think she's been used but there's no dents, no scrapes, anything like that. So we'll come around and go into the van now. So we'll go through the habitation door, straight into the lounge. Got a smart lounge, this is one of the very first vans out there to have a twin sofa lounge which still offers seat belts. So these convert to forward facing seat belt with travel seats. But when they're not being used like that, you've got a very comfortable twin sofa lounge. Over the cab, you've got a panoramic skylight. You've got another hecky roof light there, just needs retentioning. 
in the cab. We've got cab air conditioning, we've got cruise control, we've got a Pioneer doubled in head unit. That might be sat nav, if it is, it's probably a little bit out of date, so maybe best to get a standalone one. This one's got an alarm, it's got full cab blinds as well. So there's nothing to add to this van with the solar panel on the roof, the TV aerial, she is fully loaded and top quality as well. The cabinet work, everything's solid, very well built. Fly screen door on the habitation door there. Solid worktops. You've got an oven in the kitchen, various plug sockets, high level storage cupboards all the way around. Most of these lights have been converted to LED lights as well. Down in the floor here, we've got a big locker door here as well. That gives you access, if I can pull it up there, to underneath the double floor. So you've got even more storage from the inside as you do from the outside. Big fridge freezer. On top of the big fridge freezer, you've got a TV cupboard, which you'll be able to see from the front or the back. Now you can see there we've got a solid door, which segregates the bedroom area from the rest of the van, which is great if you're with guests or one who goes to bed early. And in the bedroom, we've got a really big transverse island bed. So you can get out either side of this. As you can see there, you can step out this side. You can step out the other side. You can also slide this whole bed upwards, articulate those to the up position, and then you've got more space to get around the foot of the bed. But even with the bed down, there's still plenty of room. Coming to the inside here, you could put a TV on there if you wanted a TV in the bedroom, but you do have the high level option of pulling that out there as well. If you wanted one for the rear and the front, you could. You've got the big picture window at the foot of the bed, which is really nice, blinds and fly screens on all the windows. You've got Truma gas and electric heating and hot water. You've got a big wardrobe there as well. Curved cabinet work over the top of the bed. Bed's got a proper headboard which is all good news and then to the rear of the van I can squeeze past we've got a three-quarter width bathroom with a big separate shower which is really smart hanging rail in there skylight and a side sliding window so if you did put a bike rack on there you can still open your window good thinking thank you very much for that rapido so this is her, she's the 2011 Rapido 7095DF or double floor, she's a grade 3 fully winterised, top of the range 2011 Rolls Royce model from a Rolls Royce manufacturer. You will not beat this van for this sort of money in terms of capability. There's the odd little catch or a little bit of string there that needs tensioning and tidying up. We'll do all of that. We'll give it a full MOT, a full engine service, a full habitation service and a 12 month warranty as well. Any questions contact us at Highbridge Caravans Devon branch through the website www.highbridgecaravans.co.uk or give us a call at Highbridge Devon. Thank you very much for your time. Bye bye.